Oh. All right, guys. So I'm having a comfy Sunday here. I'm in my my cozy socks and I don't know what are these sweatpants. They're sweatpants. I think they're sweatpants. And then I'm wearing my comfy. It's that kind of Sunday. We just had the book club on the Patreon Discord. That was a ton of fun. And um, I have the entire time had these two boxes next to me and I've been dying to open these. I got these yesterday. Oh, you know what though? First, I wanna tell you guys something else. Let me set this down here. I've been testing out some, I guess you can call it merch. Sorry, I only have two hands here. So I've been testing out some merch. I have a Threadless store that I've actually had for years, but I kind of stopped um, putting it in the description for my videos a while back because I wanted to kind of narrow it down and make it simpler and have fewer options and um, and then test out the options before I started posting about it again. But I've been pretty happy with, with this stuff. I feel like this is kind of <laughs> kind of a big logo for the t-shirt, but um, I know some people told me that that was the way to do it. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, so I've been testing out, I think these are pretty, pretty good quality. I've been pretty happy with the way that they've, uh, printed it. It's not too stiff or anything and, um, it feels good. So I might start adding my thread, the store back into the description of my video. So I have this design on there. I only have a couple of designs. I'm actually working on finalizing another design with a friend that's a graphic designer, but I have stickers. The stickers seem like pretty good quality too and um, different sizes. And I have this design, which I actually made this design. So this is kind of like, I guess it's like microphone pop art that I made in Illustrator. So I have that design. I have... I don't know what I have up there right now, but there's gonna be another one that I'm gonna be posting soon. Oh, I have the I'm I'm wearing the shirt right now to to test it further, but let me um let me take off my comfy and I can show it to you. All right, so I'll get my wet hair out of the way. This is yeah, it's still in the way. There, close enough. That's what we're getting. This is the other design. Uh, I made this design too, so I did this and the microphone one. I did my logo too. I did that a long time ago. My design skills are pretty simple, but um. Yeah, I don't know. So this is the other design. Uh, you can get it on any of the designs. You can get them on. Uh, I've limited it to men's t-shirts and stickers. So uh, I wear men's t-shirts. Uh, I kind of just like wearing big t-shirts. So I kind of just decided to limit it to that for now. Um, you know, have what I what I know or what I like. I don't know. Now I'm rambling. But this is the other design. If you like it, you can get it on a t-shirt or a sticker for now. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can actually either, if you're on my Patreon, I'm going to see if I can send these to you or if I can make it so that Threadless, like if I can give you a some kind of discount coupon that then makes it free or close to free, I'm going to see if I can do that. So if any of you guys want this, um, I don't know. The designs are kind of fun. I don't know if anyone would actually want the logo, but the designs I think are kind of fun. And the one that I'm working on with the graphic designer is pretty cool too. So um, that'll be there. If anyone wants it, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts, I guess. Okay, so now that we're done with the merch corner that no one asked for, back to these boxes. So um, I'm really excited about these boxes. This is some stuff that I ordered on Black Friday and it just arrived yesterday, but I had a session all day and the artists that I was working with, um, they w made me not open it yet. And they were like, you need to do an unboxing. People like seeing unboxings. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to unbox these boxes. So it's a bunch of stuff from Sweetwater. That's what it is. And the big thing that I got here that I'm really excited about is the Neve 5254. It's a dual diode bridge compressor. So I'm really pumped about that. That's like the big exciting thing that's in here. So um, if we're being honest, I already flipped this box upside down and then I cut partway along the, the seam here so that I could peek in. And then on this one too, I peeked in a little bit. I cut a little bit in the seam here and I, um, I was peeking to see which one had the Neve. I think this has the Neve in it. But otherwise, I'll just I'll just unbox it and kind of show you guys what I have as I go. 
Uh, I'm going to try not to be in this video too much because my hair is wet and it's that kind of Sunday, but uh, oops, I'm running into my, my food bag here. I have a, we're doing a food drive here in my studio right now. So um, it's just a neighborhood food drive. Someone dropped the, the bags off at everyone's houses in the neighborhood and they're collecting food for, for the holidays for, um, I forget what organization it is, but it's one of those those organizations that does food drives a lot. So, um, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set you up and then I'm gonna unbox this stuff so I can start using it. All right, so one of the things that I got, and it was mostly because they had a Black Friday deal going on, was some strings. So I got a range of strings. I got a few different gauges, a few different material types, just to have them in the studio, have them around. I'm gonna get some other brands too, like probably some Elixir strings and stuff like that. But I kind of just wanted to have a little stash of strings for people to use when they're here. And then also uh, I might start trying guitar a little bit more. Now that I've been doing ukulele for a while, I realized that guitar is a little easier to approach now at this point for me. So I might try to start to understand the guitar stuff a little bit better from the musician's perspective instead of just from the engineer's perspective. So this is in there. And then these also came with uh, like beer glasses, basically drinking glasses. So I'll be, I bet that's what these boxes are. I'm pretty sure. Yep, so here we go. Here's one of the glasses. Uh, my glasses in my kitchen are all random. Like they're, it's like mason jars and just random glasses and stuff like that. And I kind of like it that way because then when one breaks, it's not like a big deal. If a friend comes over and something accidentally breaks, right? Occasionally we'll have parties and a glass will break and I don't worry about it because it's all random stuff. It's not matching and that's half of it. I didn't even like buy specifically, so. Um, I always like getting like random glasses with stuff, I guess, is what I'm saying. I don't know if it's something that I'm super pumped for, but it's pretty cool. All right, so these are some of the other strings I got. So let's see, oh, these are all extra light gauge. Huh, I think I got, oh, I got one light gauge and then a bunch of extra light gauges. You can see how much of it I'm like, I'm like, I think I can only handle extra light. So I'll start with that. Um, but I will get a range for other people too. So there's that. 80-20, um, 80-20, and then coated phosphor. So that's kind of what I did. I guess that's what I did. I think that's what I did. I believe it. So when I got the Neve 5254, the Black Friday deal was that this came with it for free. And like, it's not something that I would have sought out to buy specifically. Um, it's just a headphone amp, but I figure when I'm, sometimes I'm on the road and I want to do, you know, mixing in the box stuff, you know, depending, it depends on the gig, whether or not I can do that. But I figure this might be good for that. So I was like, well, probably use it. I wouldn't necessarily search it out, but, but since it comes with it for, for Black Friday, I might as well go for it now. Cause I'll probably, I'll probably use this. Um, I've been building out a camper van too for like snowboarding trips, mostly for snowboarding, but like also for, you know, kind of just adventuring and, um, this can be handy to do, get, be able to get a little bit of work done when I'm, when I'm doing that. Not that I need to get work done constantly. I don't know why I have that attitude in my head. Like it's okay to take days off, right? <laughs> I need to tell myself that. I don't <laughs> Pretty cool, you can have multiple inputs. Cool. So it comes with a power supply that has a bunch of different adapters depending on your region. So that's pretty cool.
I did get more. What did I get? Coated phosphor. So that adds to the pile. So the other big exciting thing that I got in this package is the switch switch. So, so this is just a really simple monitor switcher, right? You just turn them on or off and that's it. And on the back, you have the connections for having multiple monitors. And that's basically it. I have a few, well, a couple. I have a couple monitors here that I wanna ultimately set up and be able to switch back and forth between. And then I wanted to get some other monitors as well. So, so you know, I'm getting this with with that in mind. So I'm gonna set this up and have it ready to go once I get my monitors all into place. So um, I just went ahead and got it. I don't think it was on any kind of really special deal for Black Friday. I think I just got it. And you know, I was gonna hold off on this because you can use your Apollo to do multiple monitor outs through your, your line outs, but I kind of decided that I didn't wanna limit my line outs by tying them up and using them for monitors. So I, you know, I decided to ultimately use this system instead of using the, uh, the, the line outs on my Apollo because I wanted to be able to use the line outs for other stuff. So um, may or may not have been the best decision. I don't know. We'll find out. I don't think it's gonna be groundbreaking either way. And you know, the other advantage to this is it's, it's very simple to use, right? Instead of having to go into console and switching things to switch between monitors, I can just switch a physical switch, which is always fun and satisfying. So it'll be, it'll be good, I think. It'll be pretty good. So I got that. I'm gonna change this W to a B. I'm gonna put a sticker on it. It's gonna be fun. Fresh in the box. It's the 5254. As you can see, dual diode bridge compressor. Let me take it out. An IEC power cable. Is it focusing on it? It's hard to tell with the little screen. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna read the manual here. And I'm guessing this might need a bit of a space above it on the rack. So I'm gonna figure out where to put it in my desk, right? Maybe over there above the, the here back uh, brain. I don't know. I can't put it there. I don't really have room for it. Oh my gosh, I have my nail polish stuff here. I'm sorry, that's, you know, it doesn't need to be here. I was doing my nails during book club, so. Uh, it's the only time that I have to do them, so, and I'm just sitting there talking, so. Uh, I do my nails during book club. Uh, maybe down here somewhere. I do have more. Watch me fill this up super fast. I was like, it's gonna be forever until I fill this up. So I set up the shelf instead of more rack space, but um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Probably over here, that's my guess. Oh, that's, that's my guess. Um, but I'm gonna figure out, you know, where to properly place it, make sure it has enough space for whatever it requires. Um, I don't want this thing overheating. And then I'm gonna start using it and see how it goes. And I guess I'll, I'll uh, check in with you guys and you know, say what I think, I don't know. If anyone wants to know how it's going, let me know in the comments below. I can make another video talking about this thing. I guess I'll be adding a link to my Threadless store in the description since these seem to have worked out pretty well. Um, so if you're interested in getting some stickers or something, uh, yeah, if you're on the Patreon though, contact me first and I'll you know make sure you get some kind of a deal. Um, I'll see what I can do within the, the Threadless rules, but um, yeah, you can check that out if you want, if you're interested in that. And my studio is a mess. This is chaos. Cool. I'm sorry, I'm back. I thought this was cool. I thought I'd share this. So they have the diagram, the electronic schematics for this whole thing. 
which is pretty cool. And I don't know, maybe I just wanted to pop in to show you guys that. But I'm excited to use it. Okay, I'm gonna clean up. I still have to clean up this junk and um, get this set up. Okay, bye. Oh shit, okay, so here's what's going on. I just took this and I'm trying to set this up first because I figured it'll be a simple setup. And I gotta put it right here in the, you know, there's, there's rack space right here. So you can kind of see here, I have some rack space here. So I was gonna put it on the bottom slot here and then take, you know, the switch, which isn't that deep. So I think my satellite, uh, universal audio satellite, my external hard drives back there, um, they're on the left here, uh, will have plenty of space. And then I figured I would have my USB hub, which lives right here. It has my eye lock and stuff. And I would just put that maybe on top of the switch, switch, which, cause the only time I ever use the USB hub is when I'm backing stuff up at the end of the day. And then I just take the second external that I have and I plug it into the hub back everything up to that and then i also back up to the cloud so i have everything in three places that's pretty much all i tend to use it for so i don't need it to be like super accessible um i just need to be able to plug in you know one or two things here and there sometimes i plug in um my midi keyboard as well i do that pretty often so that and then the external hard drive so i figured i would have that on top of the switch which but what, I, what has happened <laughs> is that the switch wedge is a little too wide for this, which means I think I assembled my desk a little bit wrong. So I looked and there it is. See that connection here? There's like a little indent here for this wooden piece and it didn't, it didn't line up quite right. But somehow my hair back sits in this side. So that's odd, but um, I'm gonna have to clearly loosen some screws and maybe hit this with a mallet or something to try to get it back into place. So I'm gonna do that. And setting up the switch, which is gonna be a bigger thing than I thought it would be. I think this side's fine though, right? Yeah, that looks fine. So I have to fix that. Uh, cool, okay. Good thing I'm into tools cause I have this guy lying around from, actually from building my van. So I have that. So I, what I did is I just took it to that corner and I didn't even have to loosen anything. I just kind of hit it a few times gently and it went into place. So um, now I can get back to installing this. All right, so I picked up some cables and I'm gonna set this up. All right, so I have the switch switch set up here. I have, I have wired it up and set it up so that my Kali Audio monitors are number one because those are the ones that I'm using as my mains here. And then I have these Mackie Studio monitors. I still have to get a riser for them to bring them up, but I did set them up to be number two here. So what I can do, I can play this song. Um, this song is actually some of the progress that I've made on the song that we were tracking for the Lewitt audio microphone video. I'll put a card up on the screen for that if you wanna see that. But uh, let me just kinda play it for a second, I can show you how I just switch between the two monitors. So here I'm going to have right now, this one is on, the rest of them are off. Yep, so the rest of them are off. So right now it's just the Cali Audio. And then I can switch it and turn it off and then I can turn on the Mackies. And of course the microphone's facing me on the camera right now and it's just the GoPro microphone. So it's not gonna sound as good as, you know, if I were doing a screen capture or if you were here in the room, but. So that's it. Uh, so that's all set up. Now on to this one. All right, so I got it all plugged in and turned on. I decided to put it here in the middle instead. So what I've done actually is I've moved this monitor up a little bit. There's, you know, there's clamps here so I can adjust it. Um, so that gives it a little bit more room. This needs some room to, to vent, to breathe. So there's nothing on top of this, um, but this does not. So it didn't, it didn't even have a vent on the top. So uh, that's what I did. 
So it's all plugged in, it's all on. Basically what I did is I did line out, line in from Apollo into the left and right inputs here. So right now what I have is line out and line in seven and eight for my Apollo correspond to the Neve. And um, I've just started messing with it a little bit. Of course, you know, you always wanna read the manual and make sure you're using it properly and not breaking your new equipment. Um, so I've been looking at this I read it and then I set up the the Neve and now I'm kind of reabsorbing some of this information. It gives you actual uh, attack and release values here for the different attack and release settings, which is kind of cool, um, you know, among other other good pieces of info that are in here. So uh, the manual is not that long. If you get one of these, you should totally read it. That's my thought, at least. What else is there? So because I put this in the middle, uh, what I did is I moved my little USB hub over here and my satellite over here. And so now when I want to plug in, I plug in over here to things. So I moved some stuff like the the MIDI keyboard cable that I had that used to be over here. Now it's right here. So I just kind of rearranged all that. It was a lot of work, but then basically I have less space. Um, you know, I can have a shorter cable between the Apollo and the Neve and there's just like less um, less points for it to, I don't know, get like interference from a power cable or what have you. So, and then also it's right here in the middle for me to, for me to mess with because I don't, I never touch the satellite, right? So I don't need that to be as accessible. I had a couple other reasons for why I decided to do it this way, but that's basically what I decided to do, even though I was originally going to have it over here on the left. So I have it set up. I was messing with it a little bit with the stem mastering session, but basically what I'm doing here is I have set up so that when I go to add an insert, if I go to IO, I don't know if you guys can see this with the go, there's like a, a glare here, but what I did was I renamed seven and eight because those are the line input outputs that correspond to the Neve. So I renamed them. Um, I left it saying insert seven and eight because I kind of like that. And then I added the Neve 5254 here. So that's all I do to add it to a track. Um, I'm going to have to do some experiments with make sure that it's not uh, putting anything out of phase or anything like that. So I'm gonna have to mess around with it and get familiar with this piece of gear a little bit more. And then also make sure that it's not contributing um, to any phasing issues. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna get a little familiar with it with this mastering session. So I think that might be it. That's probably gonna be the end of the video. Um, maybe I'll play this in a second and let you guys see the meters going. But um, other than that, let me know what you think of videos like this. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I have a Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. And I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. Okay, bye. Okay. <sighs> okay.